Hello guys, it's your girl Annie Courage, all right? Today I want to talk about a very weird topic, very, very weird, something very, very weird, something a lot of people might just avoid. I do not want to avoid it mm -hmm. because it's a reality, so we need to talk about it. A lot of people are going through a lot of emotional stress because of this, emotional breakdown because of this the question for today is how do you handle your orgasm as a woman when your husband is not around or probably your husband is going through some health challenge that has made him not to function the way he used to function for probably he was um, a 30 minute man because of the health challenge, it reduces to 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes. And before you know it, it reduces to nothing. And you're going through a whole lot mentally. How do you handle that? Because from where I am from, it is prohibited for a married woman to cheat on the husband. It is abominable. As in, it is destructive because it's, it can kill the man. It diminishes the man from seeing 100,000 to seeing 50,000, 50,000, 20,000, and nothing. At the end of the day, might even take his life. That's how dangerous it is. So how do you handle your orgasm that you don't get to cheat as a married woman? That you don't get to, because of what you're going through, start admiring someone else. Start feeling kind of way for another man. How do you handle that? Your husband is not always in town. Your husband is facing some health challenges. You need a man. In those lonely nights where you need someone to cuddle, someone you can turn to, someone can bring out something and put in your body, you get, he's not there. He is not there because of certain things. How do you handle that? That's what I want to talk about today and I'm going to break it down for you. Hi, darling. You need a V. I guess I have some matured minds here. You need a vibrator. Yes. You heard me. You can't go out seeking for a small boy to come do that. First of all, you're going to embarrass yourself. Second of all, if you have given breath, your body can't be the same, 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 same again. So with all those wrinkles, stretch marks and all of that, you want to show it to a small boy? That tomorrow he might wake up and insult you. That tomorrow he might see you on the road and then like, I beg that lady. The auntie that he used to call you would reduce to, hello, Annie. Is that what you want? I do not wish that for any lady. So I believe as a person, as a lady, it is always advisable. You wash your dirty linen inside. Our closet is being seen by only us. The only person that sees you in your closet again is God. His eyes are everywhere. So what you do in your closet and comes out and all brush up, looking all fresh, I do not know. You know. So why don't you, first of all, before you go into this kind of a marriage, honey, you are not always around because of your nature of job. You travel a whole lot. You're not always there for me emotionally when I need you. How are we going to do this? How are we going to handle this? When I am honey, how do I handle this? Set a structure. Let there be an understanding. It shouldn't be this very steam man that said, no, if I go for one year, you're going to wait for me. Hello, uncle. Abba, you that one year, are you staying? That six months, are you staying? Why do, why do you want to punish somebody's daughter like that? What is her crime? What is her, her offense? Because she's married to you. Hello. Be reasonable. So how do you handle it? Use a vibrator. Save yourself the embarrassment, the insult of anybody coming to tell you hey, we once had something to do. Of anybody coming to tell you she was once this. Of you feeling guilty of what you just did. Because you just got yourself messed up with someone. You feel guilty. I don't know. But somebody like me, <laughs> the guilt will last forever. So, brother, look for the easy way out. So, what do you do? You get a vibrator. It saves, it saves the situation. It saves the problem. 
rather than you going outside to get yourself messed up and regret it afterwards. If you're from a place like mine, the next thing, that lovely, that lovely husband of yours is going down. And that 10, 20 minutes, 15 minutes of, um, of sweetness turns to nothing. Orgasm in the mud. Is that what you want? No. So get a vibrator. Make yourself happy. Come out looking glow. And nobody gets to know what you did in your closet. See, you know what? Let me just adjoin it here today. But I'm going to tell you this much. It is always okay to wash your dirty linen in your closets. And whether you like it or yes, you need something like this to keep you going. Mentally, you need it. Physically, you need it. There is this kind of happiness that comes after making love. So if your husband is not there to give it to you, Thank God for the world that has gone global. So we try to adjust with, to, to, the, to the world the way it is, not in a negative form. But to embrace those things that, 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 that has come to, 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 to affect us positively. To help in one way or the other. I hope I'm, I'm being clear. Do not, do not say, let me look for this person to help me or this, that person to help me you help yourself out and come out and look the same darling because you need this i hope you enjoyed what we talked about today if you like it and you want to see more of my video please subscribe to my youtube channel and press the notification button so that whenever i upload my videos you'll be the first to watch thank you and remain safe